everyone, this is Troy Sweeney of Say Word TV, and we're here with Ray Scarrett, co-founder of 707. How are you? Fine, Troy. How you doing? I'm okay, all right. Good. Now, tell us, tell us how the 707 gets founded. Well, okay, 707 started in the year 2002 with uh, Dion Kroon, Donna Carter, uh, Bill Witherspoon, Ron Cook. And the designers wanted to do a show on 7th Avenue, and we had no idea how to do it. So we put our heads together, made a couple of calls, and we had our first show in 2002. I believe it was uh, February of 2002 at Parsons School of Design. We've been going on ever since. Now, did you go to school to learn how to video, do videography and video editing, or did you learn that on your own? I learned on my own, you know, in a couple of lessons with, uh, with that young man. He showed me some uh, editing techniques, some camera techniques, and then I took it from there. Now, 7 on 7, what do you provide for people? Well, with 7 on 7, what we do is we give you the full package. We give you hair, makeup, uh, we give you the models, we give you promotion, uh, we get to a couple of interviews with some, with some uh, local cable TV shows. We also, some of our designers have been in the pages of Women's Wear Daily and Ebony Magazine. We do, that's what we do for you. What we want you as a designer to do is just get your collection together. As far as the models are concerned, how do you get the models to fit the designer? Do you, it does, does it really, is there really a science in picking models that are appropriate for a particular designer's clothing? Uh, that's a good question because what we usually do is we have what we call a model squad where we bring in mo models who come to us and we watch them walk talk to them for a few minutes and then we pick from a couple of days later we go through the applications and we pick through the, through the applications to see what we want. Then at the models fitting, when the models are being fitted for the clothes, that's when the designer picks. Now some designers have what we call their signature models, where they'll have three or four models that they want to walk uh, for them. We say fine, but would your does, would your model walk for another designer? Most of the time they say yes. So that's a very easy process right there. That's that's part of that's Probably the easiest thing that we do is the model, is picking the model. Okay, well the process with us is we give you a contract and we break down your payments. Okay, upon your upon your last payment, you get a con you get a signed contract back from us and everything is taken care of. What you get with this, what you get with your contract is you get the models, you get DVD of your show, you get hair and makeup. Uh, you get set design, we even mail out invitations for you. If you have a certain uh, criteria that you want to reach, a certain person that you want to reach, like boutiques in South Brooklyn, then hey, that's what we're going to go after for you. If you want to reach uh, boutiques in upstate New York, then that's what we'll go after for you. That's, what, that's how we do it. What do you do in your spare time? Because I see a lot of paintings and they look very interesting. Well, in my spare time, sometimes I try to uh, bring out the artistic side in me. Do a couple of paintings. For all of the children out there who are aspiring to be designers or models or you know behind the scenes as far as the runway, mm -hmm. why, why would you tell them to stay in school? I mean because the fashion industry has nothing to do with school or does it? Oh yes it does. Uh, you definitely have to stay in school. Definitely. You have to stay in school no matter what you do. Uh, in school, what, what they're going to do with you, in high school, you, they're preparing you to go to college, whatever, and you know what you want to do by then. But your math is important. Your English is important. So when you're speaking with someone, you, they can, you can relate to them and they can relate to you. Um, your, your, your physical presence is important. So you must attend your gym classes. Keep yourself physically shaped, in physical shape. These are the things that are important. Now, when you get into college and you want to do designing or you want to do a model or you want to be in the background or you want to do camera work, then that's when you make the decision of what you want to do then and then you go forth. Now, what advice would you give the kids striving to be in this business? Patience. That's one thing you must have, patience. Uh, you must do a lot of reading. You must read the trade publications in order to keep that. That'll keep you abreast of what's going on in the industry. You have to read your trade publications. You have to create. You have to be innovative. You have to go and look in stores and see what's out there. See what you like. There's no problem in looking at a dress and saying, oh, if I had this dress, I would do it this way or do it that way. You can do that. 
All right, I want to thank you for your time, and I wish you the best with 707. Well, thank you, Troy. I look forward to seeing you at the next 707. Of course, no doubt. All right.